headaches, exhaustion, anxiety, hair loss, heart palpitations, constantly feeling cold. So these all seem so random and unrelated. What could they possibly have in common? They are just a few of the many symptoms of iron deficiency. So maybe you've experienced these life-draining symptoms. But what if your doctor has brushed you off saying that your blood work was normal and they can't be, they're clearly unrelated? Why do you still feel so horrible? Stick with me today because we are going to shine a light on how all of these seemingly unrelated symptoms point to the most common nutrient deficiency worldwide. And they are your body's way of telling you that it's starving for iron. But first, I'm Crystal and I struggled with severe anemia for years through multiple pregnancies and surgeries and finally wound up just frustrated and mad that my doctors always acted like it wasn't a big deal and kind of left me on my own to figure out how to get better. So I set out for answers and really dug into the science surrounding iron And it kind of turns out that I'm pretty darn fanatical about the research. Um, And I wrote an ebook. So if you would like a copy of the Iron Repair Manual that includes the science and secrets that I discovered about iron, I would love to give you a free copy. So just click the link down below. All right. So let's talk about what your body is trying to tell you. Now, the symptoms of iron deficiency are incredibly varied because iron affects so many of the systems and functions and metabolic processes in our bodies. And they can often overlap or even be misdiagnosed as symptoms of other conditions like adrenal fatigue, hypothyroidism, unexplained migraines, anxiety, depression, even ADHD. So I think that the symptoms of iron deficiency kind of fall into several categories. They are symptoms you can feel, symptoms you can see, and symptoms that slow you down. So let's start with the symptoms that you can feel. The first is constant fatigue or exhaustion, which feels like you're just you're struggling just to get through the day or tiring very easily when you try and do just about anything. Uh, Now, I've heard stories from women whose doctors have told them that their fatigue was just probably part of being a woman or a new mom or just the natural stress from running a household and working a job and that they just need to get used to it because it's normal, which is ridiculous because we deserve to feel good and we deserve to have good answers for our health so that we don't just have to survive in our lives. All right, so another common symptom is anxiety and depression. Now, low iron is likely an underlying factor in much of the anxiety and depression that people struggle with, and that definitely includes postpartum depression as well. But if the iron deficiency isn't diagnosed, doctors just wind up trying to put a Band-Aid on the symptoms by prescribing meds, but the root cause isn't identified then you may also experience chronic headaches, migraines, menstrual migraines. Uh, For example, my daughter, who was 12 at the time, started having headaches that lasted for weeks on end. And I tried everything from hydration, essential oils, ibuprofen and Tylenol did nothing to help. Uh, So her doctor wound up prescribing migraine medicines, and I hated giving those to her, But they didn't ease the headaches either. They didn't help at all. So I finally asked her doctor to run a specific blood test that will test for iron deficiency. Uh, We discovered she was severely iron deficient, even though her hemoglobin was normal. So once we got her iron levels healthier, she stopped getting the headaches. All right, so then another common symptom is brain fog or the the inability to concentrate. And in children, ADHD may be the official diagnosis, but studies are showing that iron deficiency can play a significant role in causing the ADHD symptoms. So it's really important to check those iron levels to identify if low iron is part of the root cause. Now, I'll link a video uh, down in the description that goes deeper into the specific tests 
that you need to request from your doctor that they will not order if you don't ask. Uh, and there's also a printable list of the tests in the iron repair manual so that you can take that with you to your doctor. Then another red flag that points to iron deficiency is always feeling cold. When you're freezing and always wrapped in a blanket or a jacket, but everybody else is fine, uh, then you can also struggle with insomnia. Despite being exhausted all day long, when it's time to finally go to bed, you have trouble actually sleeping. Then dizziness or feeling faint, the shortness of breath, or it's kind of like the feeling of air hunger, like you just can't quite catch your breath is a symptom of iron deficiency. Then you can also experience heart palpitations or a racing heartbeat. And this can happen with minimal exertion or even when sitting completely still. And understandably, it is a very unnerving feeling. And then restless leg syndrome has a strong correlation with iron deficiency. It can feel like the uncontrollable urge to move your arms and legs. Uh, my daughter also described feeling like her stomach was vibrating, and I found research papers that described it as restless abdomen syndrome. Then another telltale sign of iron deficiency is craving ice or other non-food substances. This is called pica. Uh, so for example, I used to have an almost obsessive compulsion to eat ice. And I would try and convince myself that it wasn't a big deal. I just liked ice because it was a low calorie snack. And I knew which restaurants had the good ice or which of my friends' fridges made good chewy ice. But once I got my iron levels healthy, I haven't snacked on or craved ice since then. Then many people experience a constant whooshing or ringing sound in their ears where they feel like they can feel, hear, or feel their heartbeat beat in their ears. So the next category is symptoms that you can see. Now the first symptom that points strongly to iron deficiency is excessive hair loss. Now, I used to pull handfuls of hair out of the shower drain after every shower or every time I brushed my hair. And I went from complaining about a crazy full head of hair to being really scared about how thin it was getting. Then you can also notice brittle or spoon-shaped nails as a result of iron deficiency. Uh, then people struggling with low iron are often pale or have almost like a sickly pallor to the skin. And then bruising easily can point to iron deficiency. And then finally, there are symptoms that just slow you down. And some of these overlap with other categories that we've already talked about, but they're worth, I think they're worth mentioning again. And these include shortness of breath uh, or that feeling of air hunger, uh, feeling out of breath and a pounding heart rate, even after low levels of exertion, then loss of energy. I remember wanting to do so many things, but my body was simply too exhausted and drained to actually do them. And then lastly, getting sick, uh, frequent infections can be an indication that your iron is low because iron deficiency directly affects your immune system. So clearly, iron is a vitally important mineral in our bodies, and when it's low, it affects us in a huge number of ways. And far too often, people struggle for years not knowing why they feel so terrible or even get misdiagnosed with other conditions, and then their doctors prescribe medications trying to help without discovering the root of the problem. Your body is starving for iron. So if these symptoms are affecting your life, but you feel dismissed or treated like it's all in your head, please take heart. These symptoms are real, but with the right answers and intervention, you can take back your life. Now, if you're experiencing these symptoms or other symptoms, or if you've got questions that you'd like me to answer in, in a future video, I would love to hear from you. So just leave me a comment down below. So I am obviously 
really passionate about helping women fight back against iron deficiency. So if this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that'll help others who are struggling to find these videos and it makes sure that you are the first to know when there's a new video out. Um, and finally, remember, I believe that by arming yourself with the knowledge and tools, you can fight back against your iron deficiency and take back your life. Thanks for watching.